Hi friends, welcome to another new lecture of Era of Geology. In this lecture, I will teach you parapatric speciation. So, before starting this lecture, if you are new to this channel, then subscribe this channel. So, let's start. Basically, parapatric speciation is the development of reproductive isolation among the members of a continuous population or spatially distinct population between which there is some gene flow in the absence of geographical barrier. So basically, if you look at this schematic diagram, you can see this is actually a region or a population in which some individuals are actually living. And basically, this is a hybrid zone or you can say this is actually a reproductive zone. So these individuals are actually coming in this hybrid zone or in this reproductive zone where they are actually meeting with each other. In this population, if you look at this population, you can see that this is actually a population where the geographical barrier is actually absent. But due to the reproductive zone, this population's individuals are coming to this reproductive zone and they are meeting with each other. And due to this reason, the gene flow actually occurring and new species are actually forming. And this is how actually parapatric species are actually formed and this is the way through which parapatric speciation occurred. So now we will talk about the mechanism of parapatric speciation. Basically, parapatric speciation occurs in neighboring population of widely distributed species. Though separated, they share a border zone. This border zone is actually called the reproductive zone or hybrid zone. So most individuals mate within their own population, but few go and mate with individual present in the border zone. Such hybrids formed in this border zone are genetically different from the two original populations and form the initial step toward formation of parapatric species. Okay friend, so you can see that this is a species, this is another species. So basically this is actually rainforest, a smaller bird and this is actually grassland, larger bird, right? But they are actually sharing a border zone. This border zone is called as uh, reproductive zone. They are coming in this reproductive zone and they are mating with each other during the mating the gene flows are actually occurring so that the parapatric species are formed in this border zone and due to the gene flow of different species i mean to the i mean to say this bird and this bird this species new variation actually come so that they are called as hybrid species okay friend so now we will take an example. The example, example is actually 11 species of land snail are found in the Moria Iceland near Tahiti. The Iceland is only 15 kilometers wide and there is no geographical barrier. These species fall into two groups. One is textural form and another is sinistral form. These two forms occur in different areas. In some areas, they become reproductively isolated. These species have evolved on the Iceland in absence of geographical barriers. Okay, this is actually the example. So you can say this is actually an Iceland and this is actually Moria Iceland. The, in this area, dextral form found and in this area, sinistral form found. Actually, they share a hybrid zone or you can say they share a a reproductive zone where they come to meet with each other gene flow occur and new variation come or you can say new uh, species form that are called as parapatric species so it is actually our today's lecture i hope this note wise lecture will help you a lot thank you so much friend for watching till this end subscribe this channel and like this lecture thank you so much